All right, what's going on, guys? This is all great trucker dude. Uh, as you guys have probably seen in past videos, I'm building a uh, battery system for my semi truck. Uh, done a lot of work. One of these days, I'll eventually get together uh, a decent video of the whole thing. But I had to replace one of my batteries due to a cell going out of balance and dragging the rest of the, the battery down. I bought some Helltech 5 amp active balancers, but I don't want them to run all the time. I just want them, want them to run at the uh, top balance uh, of my charging. I've been all over YouTube, have not been able to find any information on how to make these things turn on and off. I've seen one or two videos that say you can use a relay and control it by the voltage. But unfortunately, there's no real way or nobody showing how to actually set the balancer up. So I did some playing around and figured out how to do it. So this is just a short video. Basically, to show you guys how you can relay this and have your balancer turn on at 13.5 13.5 volts and possibly turn off at 14 if you're charging your batteries up to 14.2 that way when you go into uh, float and your voltage comes down it'll still continue it'll, it'll start to balance again uh, after you top charge them and continue to balance them until uh, you actually put a load on them and draw them down below 13.5. Anyway, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, piece a couple videos together just to give you an idea on how to do this. Okay, for you guys that want to control your Helltech active balancer so that you can turn it on and off, right next to the connector there are two solder joints in the run circuit the balancer comes uh, normally the two contacts are soldered together what I did was I desoldered it and wired two wires to each sex uh, each separate terminal and then ran those over to the normally open contacts right here so that when this relay activates it runs the run circuit This is the unit that I'm using to control it. Back in here, if I can find it, is the Helltech Active Balancer. As you can see, the yellow light is on, the relay is on. If I hit the button, goes off the relay turns off and if you come around here you see the light is off now if I turn it back on again on the right hand side you can see the relay comes on and the light comes on in this I'm using the U5 program. My high limit is set for 14 volts. My low limit, where the unit turns on, comes on at 13.5 volts. I do not set the timer. I go back in, shows me the program. I hold it to reset, and the unit comes back in that U5 program. 
this first switch, when she's running normally, I can hit it. I can manually turn it off. I can manually turn it on. These cables down here at the bottom is the power that powers the relay unit. These wires here are the sensor wires that read the voltage that activate and deactivate the relay. This is the particular voltage board that I'm using to control my uh, active balancer. This here is just a standard Heltec 5 amp active balancer. As earlier I was saying that you can control this by using the run circuit. It comes default with those two pads soldered together. As I stated earlier, I unsoldered those two pads and soldered two wires on them to go to a normally open set of relay contacts on this board. If you look at the relay, the top is normally closed the center is common and the bottom is normally open. These contacts are your voltage sensing that activate the relay. The top is positive, bottom is negative. This end of the board, this is your power. Voltage in, positive in ground. The first button is your start and stop. The second button is your programming. You hold it and you can cycle through your uh, settings and then you have up and down to control your voltages and timers. This is how I set my relays up to go to my batteries. I just took a piece of wood and underneath I routed out a small place so that they can sit flush on the board and the circuit boards, uh, the solder joints on the back of the circuit boards um, are not in contact with the wood. As we can see, our run circuit comes stock solder together. We'll take our trusty solder gun, get her nice and hot. As you can see, I've desoldered those two contacts. I've pre-stripped my wire. One end for a connector, the other end I'll tin. And there our connection is all soldered together. Now I'm going to add a couple layers of heat shrink to it to protect the wires. All right, now that it's done, this is how your uh, run circuit should be wired. One cable goes to the common, which is the middle. Other cable goes to the normally open. And then you just hook your other voltage wires to the other uh, sets of contacts, as I stated earlier. Plug it in, and you have yourself a control to turn this BMS on and off. Thank you.